Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron. Welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails at Dawn. Last time we did a really good side quest. Probably my favorite. Maybe even in the series, but honestly I haven't really... I never really do side quests else. <laughs> usually in these games. It's just with this game, the whole lore, chaos, grey thing. I felt like obligated to do them. But I'm kind of glad I did, if it meant I got to see that. But now we're done with side quests. We still haven't gotten... Let me just make sure, actually. Yeah, we didn't get another, like, bonding event thingy. Because we don't have enough stock time. I guess doing that side quest didn't, like, give us anything else. Uh... Oh, uh, something I remembered, actually. You know Nina, who we met, like, two episodes ago, and also who gave us the request? Uh, there, there was that time, it was, like, probably 30 videos ago, so you probably don't even remember, but... Like, we watched a movie, uh, like, at nighttime with Van alone, and then we saw that girl with glasses with the Aramis uniform. I'm pretty sure that was Nina, because she said she was studying, like, acting, and she was in an acting club or something. But I guess she was uh, wearing glasses and, like, a school uniform, so Van didn't recognize her. But the thing that's weird about that is, like, I'm pretty sure it was her, or maybe... Someone relates to her, at least, but, like, Anya's didn't notice or, like, didn't comment on it. Like, if they go to the same school, then it's kind of weird that Anya's wouldn't say something when she saw her yesterday. Like, oh, wow, okay, well, we just got done drinking, having a pint with Fee, but I guess she's now going to have a drink with Elaine. <laughs> Van, not pleased. <laughs> Wait, Van. <laughs> Uh, I really wish you wouldn't uh, try and escape after, like, seeing my face here. Oh no, it's not that, I just thought I didn't want to butt in. Uh, it's nothing like that. In fact, I think it's pretty good timing. I was just telling her about <laughs> how I met you this, uh, this afternoon. I think it would be, uh, quicker if you, uh, <laughs> came and helped me. Uh, well, <laughs> fine, uh, if it's, uh, if it's just, like, one cup of coffee, then I'll, like, I'll come and chat. <laughs> so you sit next to Fee, huh? Well, I guess she is uh, quite pretty, so it makes sense. <laughs> well, she was the one that said she wanted to talk, so... I just kind of sat here. I didn't mean anything by it. It was just a joke, or there. Since you made Anya's and Ferry your assistants, I, I still doubt you quite a lot. <laughs> I told you, that wasn't my choice. Uh, I... I keep saying, like, I work better alone. Yeah, because there's no one there to see you when you're up to no good. Well, I mean, I have my own code, so it's not like I'm ever up to that much no good. So then why are you always avoiding me? Uh, no, that's actually, uh, something else, you see, and, uh... Oh, they started a lover's quarrel and left me out. Uh, no, that wasn't what we, uh... Uh, sorry, that was kind of embarrassing. No, feel free to keep going. It's, uh, fun seeing this side of the Sword Maiden. <laughs> no, they both said, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I heard from Zane, but you really do get along well. I wouldn't say that. Uh, we're just, like, acquaintances from a while back. It's, uh, nothing more or less than that. Yes, exactly. I feel like I'm even more interested now, but I guess I'll, uh, like... I'll see for myself while I'm here. I guess I've found another hobby to do while I'm here. And I've found another person that I'll be trying to avoid. Uh, it's gonna get so crazy around here, what with the former kitten as well. Uh, you know that girl? Wait, so the guild knew about that whole kitty thing before? Well, given who her, like, current family is, that makes sense, doesn't it? That being said, right now she's just a student, so we're not gonna, like, get involved with her. I wonder about that. I feel like the immovable is probably already doing something. If you're gonna be using her, then, <laughs> like, I doubt you even need me anymore, right? No, we're still, like, lacking in capable people. So, uh, we, we want to use, like, as many, uh, talented, like, cooperators as we can. Uh, it's annoying to admit, but, yeah. Uh, thanks for the coffee. I, I'll, uh, leave here. That was pretty interesting, uh, <laughs> I hope we see each other again soon. Yeah, sure, if I feel like it. Or maybe you'd rather be alone with Elaine. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I feel like she'll get mad at me if I uh, tease her anymore. Uh, I guess bye-bye for now. I, I feel like we'll see, see each other soon, though. Yeah, probably. Just for the record, I am down with that. I would love to see more of uh, adult Fee. It's so weird getting to see three different, like, phases of Fee's life, like, when she was a kid and then, like, a young adult, and now she just, like, straight up is an adult and she's drinking alcohol and shit. So weird, but I guess that's it for that. Let's, uh... Oh, we're just going over to the cinema. We're going to see Judith. I feel like they want us to think that the other, like, client that Nina was talking about is probably Judith. But I can see why she wouldn't want to, like, show her face to us, if that makes sense, because, like, she knows that Van knows who she is. Wait a sec. No, that's not her. I thought it was that student that I was talking about just a minute ago. Hey, it's... it's it's Dingy Dangler. Hello? Hey, you gonna watch a movie? Uh, I can come with you. But I guess it's not very glamorous, just two dudes hanging out. Van. Uh, no, I just came here while I was, like, thinking about stuff. I thought that the film festival in uh, Tharbad will get pretty rough. Thanks to the other film festival getting cancelled, it's now the center of attention. And on top of that, there's a warning letter. I really did draw the short end of the straw with this request. Hmm, I think it suits you quite well. But don't worry, since I'm the one that, like, uh, introduced her to you, I'll, like, make sure that you still get your four Spriggan jobs while you're in Tharbad. Huh, thanks for that. But man, I'm surprised you're so friendly with such a popular actress. I guess you are an elite reporter. <laughs> I just happened to meet her. Uh, it's not like we're... Like, we know each other that well. But still, Nina Fen Lee. She's pretty amazing, right? Yeah, she's a top star at that age. Uh, got the looks for it, but I, I bet her acting is, like, uh, just as good, too. I'm not talking about her fame or her performances. You noticed, right? She is a much tougher and strong-willed girl than uh, what everyone thinks she is. <laughs> yeah. It probably has a lot to do with, like, her birth and, like, where she came from and stuff, but... Oh, Dingo! <laughs> Here you are! I finally found you! I finally found you! Oh, uh, Marielle. <laughs> she must really like you. Oh, you're the Spriggan! Uh, you were with Dingo again? No, don't tell me you're in some kind of secret relationship! Are you stupid? I'm rude, uh, I was just, uh, worried. Uh, anyway, Dingo, tell me, what's this case you've been chasing for a while now? I thought I told you it has nothing to do with you. Not to mention, I have no reason to tell someone from another news company. You seem to be talking about it just fine, uh, with him. Don't tell me you're okay with telling this person and not me. <laughs> Why is she getting angry at me? Wait a sec, since you're here, does that mean it might have something to do with the uh, film festival? Uh, that's... <laughs> oh yeah, Dingo, you said you wanted to watch a movie, right? Sorry, but I got stuff to do now. Uh, thanks for inviting me, but like, go see it by yourself. Well, actually, it might be kind of sad uh, watching it alone, but, well, what can you do? <laughs> wait, wait, really? Uh, in that case, uh, I'll go with you. I have some time now, after all. Van. Oh, come on, you can afford to spend some time with your cute, uh, follower. <laughs> Alright then, have fun, you two. <laughs> what a fucking guy. So, uh, I can't remember if you actually get anything from... Oh, uh, wait, what? Oh. Uh, for watching, like, anything. Yeah, this, this is the one we've watched. So, I guess they're the same as last time, so this is... Toba Curious. Uh, 200 Mirror. You're bi curious? Well, I'm sober curious. We're not the same. I doubt it means that, though. Uh, I guess I should go in. Am I going to have to do subtitles again? Probably. He said something about. Well, actually, I guess we'll find out. Again, it's very empty.
The main character, Lily, has been working as like a former for 20 years, and she's an actress. Uh, she kept getting more and more parts, and like her days kept getting busier. And while she felt pressure, she uh, also felt like a sense of satisfaction. Becoming someone else that isn't myself, uh, that's what gave her her sense of fulfillment, and it like spurred her on to do like even more work. And also, it was also like a drug that made her feel like really hot inside. And we don't know if that like drug or that intoxication caused it or not. But uh, eventually, Lily began to hear a voice that didn't belong to her. <laughs> oh wait, no. I uh, says, like a voice, like a different voice that did belong to her. So like split personality, I guess. And once again today, they started their conversation. あの子、私が落ちたオーディションに受かったんですって。生意気ね。ちょっと人気が出たからって。大して演技もうまくないのに。もう後輩相手にマウントを取って。この前はプロデューサーとホテルに無理しすぎじゃない。ここは競争社会よ。1回寝て仕事が増えるなら安いわ。そうだけど。少し疲れてきたの。この世界
But well, anyway, I'm going to end it off here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I guess next time we'll be heading over to Tharbad. So I'll see you guys then.